All right, so recently David Spade was on Bad Friends, and, you know, this is a pretty big guess for them. Bobby, he managed to set it up. Him and Spade know each other. They've worked together, and Bobby's had him on Tiger Belly before. But after this, I don't know if they'll be able to convince David to do another podcast with him again because they had already rescheduled this episode once because Bobby couldn't make the original date. And then the day they're supposed to record, Bobby showed up almost an hour late. So Santino and Spade were obviously pissed, and they let him hear it. Half the podcast was them just roasting Bobby, which honestly did make for a great episode. And the fans agree, you know, they're not complaining. Like this comment says, the best episodes are the ones where everybody's mad at Bobby. Another person said, nice to see Spade put Bobby in check. Another person said, bad friends is at its best when there's aggression. And hopefully Bobby learned his lesson from this because everybody knows he's not very organized and he's always late to things and he's not very good at communicating with people to let them know. But after this, I think that might start to change because Santino and Spade were really frustrated with him, you could tell. And also, since Santino was annoyed with him, he actually gave his honest opinion about Bobby continuing to do Tiger Belly with Kalila. And as expected, he's not a fan and he wants Bobby to just end it already. You do it with... This one and then the other unnamed podcast that we don't talk about here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you hate it, Andrew? No, 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 no. It's, I think it's a total waste of his time, but I think it's fine that he does it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally a real answer. <laughs> it's, a it remar- it's a remarkable uh, uh, soft white underbelly is what yeah. it's called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were sort of married to... Uh, Kalila, yeah. Uh, you know, I look at... <laughs> finish it for me. Kalila, yeah. And then how long did that go? Oh, well, they're still doing the podcast together. You love that, don't mm. you? <laughs> it's an interesting move. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> I have no idea what you're fucking doing, I and I don't like it. Parents fight. It's I don't know like what you're doing. I don't like it, and I don't. I think you. This thing, what you're doing right now, mm. I made a mistake. Mm. It's been like this whole right. Be honest. Really dying. Back up. me up here. It's- yeah. So I think that's the first time he's actually given his honest opinion about it. Even though it sounds like something he does tell Bobby off camera, and I'm sure a lot of other comedians tell him this as well. So what was also funny about this episode is David Spade. Not only did he have to wait like an hour for Bobby. But he hates their whole setup. You know, he had to wait in the lobby and he had to use the bathroom. So they gave him a key to it. You know, there's no bathroom in the studio. So he was complaining about that. And then also he hates the chairs that they have. You know, they have those inflatable chairs for the guests. And he's like, I'm not sitting on this. And they just dragged in a chair from the lobby. So nothing was going right here. And I'm surprised he even stuck around. He did say he was about to leave. But, you know, I think most other people probably would have just left if Bobby was taking this long. But, you know, at least he made a couple hundred bucks from this. Since Bobby was late, he felt bad and gave David Spade a couple hundred bucks for his trouble. That's this ragtag operation held in a f***ing strip mall in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> You're going to give him money? I, I go to, I go to you. <laughs> He's going to give you money. I go to use the bathroom. I go, you have a bathroom here? Oh, here's a, a key with a cinder block on it. There's a shell <laughs> down in Tahunga. I go, guys... <laughs> Where is the money going? I know we make money. Oh. It's right there. That Pay him. Inflatable chair and all this other dog shit. Look at that money. Did you just set last night or a couple? Hey, thanks for coming, man. Normally I wouldn't accept it. <laughs> <laughs> get some lunch. But now. today, get some, nice get some lunch. Get some nice lunch. No, yeah. By the way, oh, David parents. was too good for our chair. He said our chair was bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't like our bullshit chairs. I didn't like your fucking raft. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. A, a blow up chair. I'm sorry. This place makes millions. I know you got orange paint. You did that. So you start <laughs> cutting corners after that. <laughs> Yeah, so this whole thing was a mess. I don't think they ever really got on track during the podcast. Like, they just spent most of the time talking about how annoyed they were with Bobby. And I can't tell who was more pissed, David Spade or Andrew Santino, because, you know, Andrew, I'm sure, deals with this quite a bit. And this is a big guess for them. And also, Andrew doesn't really know David Spade that well. Like, Bobby's the one that set this up and everything. So I'm sure it's pretty awkward for him having David Spade wait out in the lobby for like an hour. So Santino probably didn't know what to do. Like, I don't think Bobby gives many updates either. So you don't really know when he'll be there. Because also the reason he was late is because he slept in. So Bobby's asleep. Meanwhile, Andrew said he showed up like 40 minutes early. And then when he realized that Bobby's late, he's probably panicking, thinking like, damn, this is the first time I'm meeting David Spade. And now I'm making him wait out in our lobby. And since Bobby doesn't give many updates, he probably didn't know if he should just wait for him or if he should start it without him or if he should just tell David he'd leave because David kept mentioning he was about to leave. 
And I guarantee he was just thinking, why the hell did I agree to do this to begin with? Like, he was definitely not in the best mood when he realized Bobby is late. He said just setting this up was a giant pain in the ass. Like, Bobby asked him to do it, and he's like, yeah, sure. And he texted him to try to schedule some stuff, and then Bobby never gets back to him. You know, he's doing Bobby a favor, and Bobby acts like it's an inconvenience to him. Dude, we've been wanting you for so long. But is that why it was such a colossal f hassle to have me come on? I used yeah. to call him, I go, he goes, can you come on when I see him in real life? And then I hit him the next day. Hey, I, where are you? Like Wednesday through Friday, anything next week? Nothing, crickets. Like two <laughs> weeks later, oh yeah, I can't do it then. And then I go, all right, what about when I'm back from the road? And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the real reason I was late is because I wanted you guys to have a little report. That's, that's smart. Yes. So yeah, that that's smart my that you did forward that. thinking. Really. Because, you know, I didn't come in here for a little bit because like on mine, I didn't want to. I don't want to see. I actually the guests love before. that. I love that you stayed out there because I I don't like seeing the guests before too much because you then it feels like. Well, you guys didn't talk. No, well, we did. I went out for a while because I go. The first thing I was going to say is something <laughs> jokey, and I'd rather just save it. Yeah, yeah. I think because David walked in the room and he goes, "I'm probably going to leave soon." Because today it felt like that feeling of, "Holy shit!" You know yeah. what I mean? And just getting in the car, like that feeling I have every single day when I'm late for something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every time at the comedy show, they go, I go, Mom, after Bobby's here yet, they go, oh, he's not coming. I go, Jesus. <laughs> Perfect. Anyway, today oh. felt like that. Um, yeah, like when you were, you, when you, 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 you said, come on, man, the way you said, say that again. Come on, man. Oh, my God. That's that, really sad. I, I, I jumped everyone out. Was, everyone was sad. We started on a sad note. When I say, come on, man, like that, it's like, a, I'm just, I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. yeah. My last text to you, I'm going to go say bye to Santina. <laughs> oh my God, I feel so bad. What's you know what? We did it. I don't give a f We have it in the can. It was a good uh, podcast. So that f one it. was? Yeah, it was great. It was very good. It was what great. Comparing it to, hey, Santino. And then I go, by the way, the whole drive here, he doesn't go on way or anything. He's just like, you texted me? I'm like, <laughs> what's better than your phone to get to you? What's easier? Yeah, so it's kind of impressive that Bobby's managed to have such a successful career while being this unorganized and never being on time and just being all over the place and not being able to communicate with people very well. Like, I don't know how anyone puts up with this. I mean, Santino must get so frustrated doing this podcast. Like, even David Spade, who I'm sure doesn't interact with Bobby that much, but he still understands exactly what he's like. And, you know, this is probably one of the few positive things about Bobby dating Kalila, because when they're dating, I would imagine she would make sure he's on time to things because it could affect her career. Like, her career kind of depends on Bobby, so I'm sure she would make sure he's got his schedule down. And even during this episode, it starts with Andrew and David just talking for, like, 30 seconds, and then Bobby stumbles in. And instead of just apologizing right away and being like, yeah, this is all my fault. I'm so sorry. I screwed up big time here. He looks over at the producers like it's their fault. And he's like, why the hell didn't you send me a reminder? So it's like everybody else needs to do this stuff for him. Even though Andrew Santino said they had been talking about this podcast. David Spade texted him that morning. I'm sure Andrew did as well. I'm sure everybody was reminding him constantly. But still, he manages to be late. And he brought me on. Oh, gross. Is somebody here? God, we were having such yeah, a lovely, lovely conversation. Entrance. Yeah. No reminder, nothing, huh? You always do reminders, no? Mm -hmm. You don't. How many reminders? Check your phone. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, it's my fault. Sorry. Whose fault is it? My fault. It's your fault? Sorry, Bobby. Wow. I had no idea. How could you not? We couldn't <laughs> stop talking about this. You I forgot. I forgot. You scheduled this. You scheduled this. I drove here from Ojai at 7 in the Ohio. morning. Ohio! No, Ohio. <laughs> it's insane! Insane. Say hi to David. Hey, thanks for coming. <laughs> Such a big fan. I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to you. I know you're actually angry, David. How dare you, yeah. Are you furious? He should be. No, 32 movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! 15 I've TV never seen show. you like this. Listen, I... Listen. 77 commercials. Yeah, I understand. I, specials. I, I, listen. Let him finish. One book. <laughs> um, and a holding deal. Uh, Bobby, what did I text you this morning? I go, wake up. Today is your Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't answer. Who canceled on me Friday and said, is there any way you can do it Monday? Is there any way? And I go, Bobby, for you, I'll do it Monday. I'll move everything around, 1.30. And you go, yeah, yeah, let me turn off my phone and all my... So now he's been here for 44 minutes. He's like... Well, I guess, just... I mean, guess what, though? No, no, no. No, I got time for one more question. Go okay. Fit in. I'm not fully in this realm, Dude, Sometimes but... you don't have time to paint your nails. You just got to get down. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> such an asshole. I want to I want to hear more about this for one, yeah, go, okay, okay, one, okay, one okay. more second. Yes, yeah, so that was hilarious. And I love that comment about Bobby's nails. I mean, running in there an hour late with your nails painted. It's like, dude, get your priorities straight. Get your shit together. You know, you have time to paint your nails, but you can't just set a reminder on your phone or you can't set an alarm or set two alarms. Instead, you're busy painting your nails. And then, of course, him showing up late is everybody else's fault. He can't just take responsibility for it. And then he gets mad that everybody keeps making fun of him. But, of course, that's what's going to happen if you're late all the time. And Santino brings that up to him. He's like, dude, the first thing out of your mouth should have just been, I'm sorry, and just take responsibility for it. Bobby's like, that's what I said. And he's like, no, it's not. And then Bobby starts doing this really sarcastic apology. And he just starts flipping out. Like He starts yelling like crazy. And he acts like everybody is out of line for being mad at him. Like they're the unprofessional ones or something. I mean, he acts like he should have been able to just run in there and they just ignore him being late and just continue on like nothing happened at all. But of course, they're going to point this out. And of course, they're going to be frustrated with you. But he's like, oh, good job. You guys got me. I was late. I screwed up. You happy? Now I owe you. So hopefully this is Bobby just being out of it since he just woke up. You know, hopefully after the podcast, he realized like, yeah, I really got to do better. But if this is his attitude, then I don't know how the hell Andrew Santino deals with this. Yeah. Bobcat was the first guy to take you on the oh, road. We're talking about this comedy. Uh, <laughs> maybe you should sit this one out. And then I did. Bobcat was... Uh, Bobcat was on Police Academy with me, and so I got that part as my first part. And then when you, you stole the movie, and we did. Can you shut movie. up? Can you honestly <laughs> shut the fuck up? Hey, I'm all for fake movie. compliments. It's bad. <laughs> I mean, at least it had me something. Anyway. So, I. Uh, yeah, this is great. I'm I'll, sorry. Should have been the first thing out of your. I'm sorry <laughs> is the number not one. That I did. That's. I already said I'm sorry. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You yelled at this poor guy I'm from sorry. fucking Guadalajara. Oh, obviously, I'm sorry. No, no, it's not obviously. Obvi oh my I, god. What kind of games are we playing now? Dude, this is like when my dude, dad when my dad used to hit me. You know what, dude? When my dad used to hit me and he'd be now. like, "Obviously, I didn't mean to hit you." It's oh, like, can I just say something? All right. Okay, all right. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> so no, no, no. So, I'm sorry. You're so I disingenuous. Made a mistake, but I can I tell you something? Please. All right. This is there's good news here on the and on this road. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Yeah. I'll spin it. Check it out, right? Now, from now on, though, guess what? I owe you, you for the rest of my life. Mm. That will get me literally nothing. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jesus it's Christ. <laughs> Talk about nothing. It's I know. But you don't know that. But, have, but, you, have, have you ever had a Korean? Have you ever had a Korean owe you a flavor? A flavor? <laughs> a favor. I just woke up. Are you an ice have, cream dealer? The fuck up. Have you ever had a Korean owe you a favor? You haven't, have you, no. Dave? No. And, and our favors are tremendous. Gold bars. Feels you know what I mean? Free Nobu. You know what I mean? Pussy. pussy. First of all, gold bars you like and pussy? Nobu. You like pussy? No. Yeah, you know, okay. These, these two immigrants don't know what's going on. <laughs> all right. They're here getting so, three credits. All right. So, oh, so secondly, uh, I want to say is. Yeah. Congratulations, David. <laughs> Congratulations. You get Listen, favors for the rest of your life. Congratulations. What, what a, you win. <laughs> now, let me say something. I have a real question for Andrew. Oh, fuck. Is this podcast usable? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or this, will this be like a practice? This is like a, it's for Patreon. It'll be probably. No, no. Yeah, this probably. is going to air. Oh, yeah, relax. Jesus, I don't like crazy Bob. Yeah. It's gonna be the biggest episode in planet Earth. It will this episode. Not does unless you tone do it well down. Okay. Just or am I, someone else is out. It might go crazy. This does well. I like I'll this because I see it. And I'll come. I'll come. Pretty down. funny. Well, we like your show. Uh, we just. We just. You know. The problem is you guys are respectful and business-like and on time and professional. And and then the rest of the podcast, they kept making fun of Bobby for being late. And I'm sure after the podcast is over, Andrew let Bobby hear it some more. So we'll see if it happens again. But either way, you know, this was hilarious to watch. So I don't think people really mind it. And maybe that's the problem here because maybe Bobby will realize like, you know, what, people thought this was a funny episode because I was late. So it's not that big of a deal. But it is just very unprofessional and disrespectful towards the guest. And it just threw the whole podcast off like they could never get on track. And there's some awkward moments, obviously. Also, towards the end, this was pretty funny. You know, I said David Spade dragged in a chair from another room or like the lobby or something. And then at the end of the podcast, one of the producers is like, hey, David, remember to take that chair back. Like nobody there could do it for him. And Andrew immediately is like, damn, dude, that's kind of rude. My Give it up for David Spade. Give him a, David Spade a round of applause. Again. Give me a hug, man. And remember to take your chair back, too. 
Oh, wow. Oh, rude. 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 Very rude. rude. So David Spade probably left that podcast thinking, what the hell was that? That was the worst experience ever. I would imagine he's probably never going on there again. But, you know, maybe at least he liked Andrew because he's way more professional than Bobby. So hopefully that made him look good because he at least tried his best. But Spade's probably done doing Bobby any favors because it just turns into a giant hassle for him. So that's about it for this video. But make sure you go check out my Patreon account if you want to hear about the time Pat Oswald apologized for taking a picture with Dave Chappelle. Or if you want to hear about Tim Dillon versus Airbnb. Or if you want to hear about what I think is the funniest podcast of all time. Or there's just a ton of other stuff on there. There's a lot to go through. So if you like the channel and want more content, make sure you check it out. And then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.